Hi, today I'm going to teach about osmoregulation in xerophytes. So basically, I'm going to cover about definition, habitat, types of adaptations, morphological adaptations, and physiological adaptations about xerophytes. Okay, xerophytes, the words originate from Greek. Zero means dry in Greek. Phytes means plants. So plants adapted to live in dry and hot climates are xerophytes. Many found in three different habitats. First, all plants living in desert such as cacti. Second habitat is plants that can be found in sand dunes such as marum grass. Okay, the third habitat is plants living in cold or high altitude areas. Okay, now we are going to see adaptations of xerophytes. First of all, what's adaptation? Adaptation is special characteristic that allows an organism to survive in a particular environment. So adaptations might be divided into physical appearance, which is called morphological adaptation. And also second one, which is a physiological adaptation whereby involving internal system. Okay, first morphological adaptation. Smaller leaves reduces the total surface area over volume ratio. So there is a less area over which water is lost by transpiration. This can be seen in pinus. Second morphological adaptation, very thick waxy cuticle. So cuts down evaporation from the upper epidermis as in the leaves of shrubs such as oleander. Third morphological adaptation, rolling up of leaves so that the lower surface faces inside and traps humid air next to the stomata, reduces the rate of transpiration as in marum grass. Okay, the fourth morphological adaptation, many have shallow extensive root system to quickly absorb water from rain and overnight condensation by most cacti okay now comes physiological adaptation ability to fix carbon dioxide at night so that the stomata can be closed during the day to prevent excess water loss which can be seen in camp plant Second physiological adaptation, ability to open the stomata in the dark at night so that the cooler temperature allow the plant to take up carbon dioxide through the stomata without excess water loss also can be seen in camp plant. Third physiological adaptation, the growth rate of plants is slow due to maximum utilization of carbohydrates in the formation of cell wall. This can be seen in xerophytes. Okay, now comes the summary. Recap. Xerophyte adaptation. Reduced or rolled leaves. Thicker waxy cuticle. Stomata in pits with hairs. Utilize chem physiology lower growth to ground thank you for watching my video